I am. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys some of my March favorites for 2021. And as always, I have put everything into different categories. So this video is not all over the place. And yeah, I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys my current obsessions. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Starting off with the beauty category, the first thing I have to share with you guys is a body wash. And it is this one from Bath & Body Works from their Aromatherapy range. It is in the scent Rose and Vanilla. Oh my goodness, guys. I've only been using this for like a week or so. And I am just absolutely obsessed. This just smells like an absolute dream. Like I'm frolicking in the flower fields or something. And I never knew that Rose and Vanilla combined together would create something so so heavenly. Next up, I have this night cream, which I have been using for the past couple of weeks now, and it is the Antipodes Probiotic Night Recovery Water Cream. As you guys all know, Antipodes is my favorite skincare brand. I am obsessed with their products. This is water-based. I am obsessed with water-based creams and moisturizers, so I absolutely love this and definitely recommend this to you guys. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is so good to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized, especially now that we are getting into the colder months here in Australia. Next two favorites in my beauty category are actually hair care products. So the first thing is this texture hair repair spray from Thicky. You guys would have seen me do a review of the Thicky hair care brand in my last video, but this is the texture repair spray. And I absolutely love this because it stops my hair from becoming frizzy after I wash my hair. And it also smells absolutely incredible. And it's just really good for your hair. And the other hair product is also from Thicky and it is the super serum which I just pop on before I actually wash my hair it makes my hair smell nice and it just hydrates and nourishes my scalp and it is absolutely amazing I love this hair product and the last thing in my beauty category is actually a perfume and this is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dreams perfume first of all this packaging is absolutely beautiful and it smells so so lovely like oh my god I'm gonna put this on myself now the next category is fashion and we are going to start off with my favorite face mask at the moment which is this one it is in this beautiful blush pink color and it is actually a silk mask which i really prefer because it reduces the chance of you getting mask knee which is very very relevant and of course covid is still a thing so we are out here still wearing masks and being safe and this face mask is actually from real you and this is really like fashion based but it's clothing so that's why I'm including this in my fashion favorite section and it's actually a pair of pajamas that I got from Peter Alexander and they're Winnie the Pooh pajamas so this is the top it's a little button up and it's got Winnie the Pooh all over it and then this is the matching pajama shorts which is the same print and color with Winnie the Pooh on it this is literally the cutest PJ set I own and it's so so comfortable and I've worn this so many times already and I'm just absolutely obsessed with it. Peter Alexander always kills it with their pajamas. They always have the cutest designs. I am so glad Winnie the Pooh is becoming trendy again because it was my whole entire childhood. My next fashion favorite is actually a skirt from Princess Polly. It's in this floral print. It's got like pink, orange, yellow flowers. It's very beautiful. It has a zip at the back and it also has a little slit on one side as well. It's so, so flattering and it fits really, really well. And the last thing in the fashion category is a bag so this is my favorite bag at the moment it is my staple bag it's in this like faux crocodile print and it has this little silver chain and it is a crossbody bag which you can also make into a little baguette bag as well i love these kind of bags because they fit in like the basic essentials like your phone wallet all that stuff and also it's black so it goes with everything which i really love also sorry if the lighting is changing a little bit the sun has just randomly decided to come up so yeah just hopefully that's not too distracting the next category is entertainment. I always feel like entertainment is my favorite category because this time I have a few favorite entertainment things to share with you guys. The first thing I'm going to share with you is my favorite book, which I have finished. And it is The Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. My best friend Shelby actually recommended this book to me. And I am so, so glad I read this because I got so hooked. I'm so excited to read the second and third books from this edition 
edition as well. If you're really into like fantasy, a little bit of romance, but not too much romance, this book is really good for you. Basically, a quick little overview of what this book is about without me actually spoiling too much. There are these two separate bloodlines. There's the reds and the silvers. The reds are like the inferior, whereas the silvers are like royalty and they also have like special abilities, like special powers. And there's this one girl, her name is Mare, who is a red blood. And then she actually ends up getting a job to be working for like the silvers. And then she discovers that she has some magical abilities. She can control like lightning and stuff. And of course, the silvers find out that they have to disguise her as a silver because reds aren't meant to have any power because only silvers have power. It's really interesting. I'm not going to give too much away on the book, but it is so, so good. I highly recommend it. Next three things are favorite TV shows and movies. My number one favorite TV show that I have completely binge watched within like the first week of March was a TV show called Manifest. In this TV show, there are a group of passengers who go on a flight and the plane goes missing for about five and a half years. Then after the five and a half years pass, the plane comes back, but none of the passengers have aged a single day. And then after they come back, they develop this thing called calling. So they have like a little voice in their head that kind of almost predicts the future in a way and tells them what to do and tells them kind of how to solve mysteries and stuff. And then they end up actually finding out they're not the only ones that have kind of time traveled. It's so interesting. If you're really into mystery and all those kind of things, make sure you watch that because I was hooked onto it. I don't believe it's on Netflix or anything. I actually watch it on Channel 9 Go, which is an Australian TV channel. But yeah, it's a really good TV show. And I believe that season three is coming out on the first week of April. And I'm so excited. This next TV show is actually on Disney Plus and it's called Girl Meets World. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably heard of this one. It is about two best friends and they kind of go through middle school together. And then in the last season, they go through high school together. And it's so good. It actually has like life lessons thrown into it. And it's just like a feel good Disney show and I loved it. And the last thing is actually a movie that I'm going to be sharing with you guys which I watched recently and it's called Moxie. This is such an incredible movie. It's all about girl power, girl supporting girls, feminism and I absolutely love that ish. It's set in like a school setting and there's this girl and she ends up making this like magazine an anonymous magazine and it's all about like feminism and girls supporting girls and then she leaves those magazines in the girls bathroom and then all these girls find it and then they create this club called Moxie and it's just like all these girls coming together to support each other and it's absolutely incredible. I love TV shows that are like that, that are not like pitting girls against each other, that are actually showing girls supporting girls. We need more TV shows like that. And they also touched on a few like women issues as well, which I absolutely adore. Love that movie so much. And the next thing is a podcast recommendation. So my favorite podcast at the moment is Inspired Mind by Ella Victoria. I love her podcast so much. I binge listen to it all the time. You can listen to it on Spotify and Apple Music. She talks a lot about mental health health, social media. She interviews her friends and also like other special guests. She talks about fitness, all those kind of things. And it's really, really interesting. I love her podcast. All of her episodes are just so good. Next two things are kind of social media related. My number one favorite YouTuber for this month is Sarah Joy. She is the epitome of Pinterest goals because she is the ultimate Pinterest girl. And I love Pinterest. All of her videos are just so well edited. She does like clothing hauls fashion videos, morning routines, vlogs, all those kind of things. And if you're really into like the Pinterest lifestyle, definitely go check out Sarah Joy because her whole YouTube channel is just screams Pinterest. And the last thing, or I should say probably person for my entertainment list is an Instagrammer called Marta Sierra. She is the most creative person that I follow on Instagram. Her reels are absolutely incredible. Her transitions are absolutely insane. And she lives in Barcelona and it's so cool to see like all the photos that she creates in Barcelona and her fashion is just to die for and her creativity always blows my mind. So I love seeing all of her posts come up on my feed because it really inspires me to also be more creative. 
the last category I have is just called other because I feel like none of these items really fitted into the other three categories. So the first thing I want to show you guys is my March bullet journal spread because I am so, so happy and proud of myself for how it turned out. I went for an avocado toast theme for this whole month and oh my goodness, you guys are going to die when you see it. This is my quote and cover page. My cover page is definitely my favorite page from the spread. Then this is my little monthly overview page. Definitely one of my favorite spreads as well. This is my habit and mood tracker. As you can see, I have done literally no journaling this month and I really love this mood tracker. This is definitely my favorite mood tracker I have ever done. It's just so cool and I think once I finish up the last few days of March, it's really gonna look so cool. Then I have my first weekly spread. I've also included two of my favorite avocado recipes. And then I've got week two and week three of March on a double page spread. And then this is my last week of March. And then the next thing is this lavender room spray. I absolutely love this. I love anything lavender scented because it's very calming and very anxiety relieving. I love spraying this before I start work just to bring in those good vibes. And the last thing I'm gonna mention in my March favorites is actually a food item. And that item is eclairs. I mean, I don't think that's much of a surprise, but I have just been obsessed with eclairs lately. They taste so good and they remind me of my childhood because I used to love eating eclairs as a kid. And eclairs, like that pro with the proper shoe pastry, they hit different. Oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with eclairs and I wish I could make them at home because I would actually eat them every single day. They taste so good. But anyways, that was it for my March favorites. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video and hearing some of my current obsessions. Leave a comment down below letting me know what has been your favorite thing this month. And also be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. I post new videos every single week and go ahead and follow me on my social medias. I post a ton on there as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love, love.